going live. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I feel like I'm not used to this, so I can't look at the... Let's make sure we have everything working here. Test testing. Let us know if you can hear us and see us. We haven't gone live in a long time. This is so interesting. I can't look at it or I'm not looking at you. So. I know. I feel like maybe we should move this yes. under there. Let's okay. Do that. All right. We're going to move you guys. No. Ah! Oh. My uh, watch is Siri, talking. Siri said, I thought so. Okay. Let's move you guys right here. Oh, dear. We almost had a spill. Ah! Okay, there we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay, let's, yeah, that'll that'll work. All right. Whoop, whoop. You guys hey ready guys. to build a gingerbread house? Okay. okay, tell me about your gingerbread house experience. Hold on. I want to welcome them to okay. go get something to create. Mm. We're going to use a gingerbread house kit. I've never used one of these, I don't think. Growing up, we used to use um, graham crackers, and then you break them to the size that you want and you use icing. But if you don't have any of those things, grab an old cardboard box, cut out gingerbread house pieces, and use crayons, markers, pencils, pens, and decorate it that way. If you have paint and a paintbrush, do it that way. Let's create something. And I told Peter, see, he's creating... I'm creating a very special look. Yes. I told Peter, I have these two watercolor paint sets. This is what I had used for the last six years. I still have it. Um, currently, I'm using a liquid paint set, but I want to give these away to you guys. I've had these and I've offered them to friends, but my friends already have what they need. So I want to give them to you guys. So here's what we're going to do. Whatever you create with us during this time, send me a picture in personal messages on Instagram. And then out of those entries, two of you will win and I'll send it to you. So thanks nice. for coming with us to create something. What was your gingerbread bread experience? That was probably loud. Um, we always use graham crackers too. Oh. So... Yeah, graham crackers, icing, whatever candy we had in the cabinet. But tea rolls were always the best. Wait, does this have two in it? Oh, I'm is pretty it sure just one. one? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it together. Yeah, the Tootsie Rolls were the best because you could make a little log pile. Ooh, I what? like it. Here, we'll, we'll do it. Here, let's move the microphone oh, over yeah. here so they can see. And they can hear this really loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's like gingerbread ASMR. Okay. I Birds are don't know. Okay, so oh, wow. I have to say, Peter is more of a let's carve a pumpkin, let's do a gingerbread house type of person. I'm more like, that sounds sticky. But I, I don't care if I get paint on me. But anyway, all of that being said, Take the reins. There. I do feel like, I kind of feel like the preformed kit here is taking some of the creativity out of the process. I think that's probably because we grew up making our own. Yeah. Like we've never done a kit. But okay. for some people, I think they have only done a kit. Before. Well, I guess you just use your creativity in other realms yeah. of the creation. Okay. So. I'm trying to see some of the comments. Yeah, you. All right. So, hey, Peter, what a nice way to decorate your cap. Oh, thank you. These are Mary's bird ornaments. They're quite quite festive. Tweet tweet tweet. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, what what's your strategy here? What what do we start with? Put it together. Put it together. Oh, they even have instructions. Cover so your base. Toss, toss oh, that. is this the base? Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, we were hoping to read like a Christmassy book for you guys. If you have kids around or if you just want to hear a Christmassy story. Um, I lent my Christmassy snowman book to a friend. So... Basically, we can't do that 
because we don't have a Christmas Eve book to read. No, we don't. So, so that was another part of this, but that's okay. all right. You want to open the icing? Sure. Yep, we've got foil. That was a recommendation. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Elizabeth did five mini houses this year. That's so cute. What about painting? Yeah, painting a gingerbread house. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually was thinking about doing that, but we decided to just build it. You can paint, draw, you can sketch it craft. on a napkin. You could. Oh my, this is gonna get messy. Do I do oh. I do I need to do this to put I it together? I wonder why it's so liquidy. It is liquidy. Down here feels a bit thicker. Maybe I didn't quite squish it enough. So so here's a question. Do I need the icing to go in in yeah. between there? Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Icing explosion. This is gonna be great. I think that's cool how it has the little notches. Yeah. It's like Lincoln logs or something. Ooh, Lincoln logs. Um, oh. do you remember in Scotland when we did uh we got from the pound land this nativity little christmas nativity coloring thing okay i feel like i want to look up that pound video land i haven't thought about that in pound land yeah a long time um, okay i'm just gonna go for it i'm getting messy here oh yeah. this is it's gonna be great that icing is a little um frothy frothy is the right <laughs> word <laughs> okay let's see um, how would I look up to find that? I'd go to playlists. Yeah, you could go to playlists on YouTube. If you if you ever want to watch our Scotland vlogs, I think that, so the time period is August 2014 through like January 2015. So I'm just scrolling back. I push playlists, see more, and I'm just scrolling, scrolling. There are over six years of videos. Okay, here we are. Um, October, November, I'm guessing December. How am I going to find that video? I recently went back and watched a whole bunch of old videos from Scotland and it was really fun. Oh, Christmas crafts and funny names. Like mundane and hard sometimes. You just got to make it fun and exciting and add a Y to the end of words. What? <laughs> Going to Scotland! Oh, that was fun. That place where we did like this in front of the telephone booth. Oh, yeah. That, that was when we went on the trip to the Highlands. That's so fun. Oh! Wow, this is... I, I guess that's uh, part of the... Hot dogs oh. in a jar! If you guys want to watch this later, just type in YouTube, type in Christmas crafts and fun. Why is it not showing me the name? Funny names, the fry life, or even just Christmas crafts, the fry life. And this should pop up. I'm trying to find the part where we were doing that little craft from the dollar store. Here it is. Here it is. You found I, it? I remember, was it colored pencils or markers? Either way, they did not color very well. There was like, yeah, the colored pencils. Yeah. How's that going? Well, you see, I'm, I'm not sure about my pedagogy. It literally, you just said, these are the worst colored pencils ever. ever. <laughs> You're doing great. Woo. Should I get some clamps or something from the garage? <laughs> no, let, let's get the other side of the roof on. I think it's it can just lay on there. Okay, we we have we have a structure. We have a structure. All right, here's here's where we are so Hi, far. Hi guys. Okay. From Iceland, Emma, welcome. All right, so okay. um, I'm actually going to spin it on the base so we can have more room out front. Okay, good idea. Let's hope that the structural, the structural integrity doesn't. Okay. Weaver. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Ooh, icing everywhere. Here you go. What's next? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, you said you like Tootsie Rolls. 
Yeah, Tootsie Roll wood pile. Tootsie Roll wood pile. Okay. Honey, we need some wood for the fire. <laughs> <laughs> you get to use your imagination. Oh, somebody's painting a gingerbread house with us. That's so oh, fun. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, if you guys want to be entered to win, I'm going to give these two away. And if you would like to be entered to win, send me a message on Instagram with a picture of whatever you're creating while we're creating. Oh, man, I am so sorry. Wheels equal freedom. Today must be kind of like a speechless, so many emotions. And our hope for this live stream was if people are feeling lonely today, that we can bring a little bit of like be with you while you're lonely. Yeah, I, we were talking about that this morning, how this week it, we're going to be vlogging our Christmas week, which is going to be a really simple, we're at home this week and we aren't traveling or seeing family. And we know this year looks really different for a lot of people. And we hope that our vlogs can just like, for those that need 15 minutes to uh, have someone to do a gingerbread house with or just sit and hang out, we'll be here. And uh, we hope that we hope that our videos can just be a little smile amidst a weird season. Okay, we're going with the gum, gum or what are these dots? I guess you call them gum drops. They look like gum drops. Could you just look? Oh yeah, yeah. Like literally, the feeling of the icing all over my hands is so bothersome to me right now. But do it for you guys. Do it for the gingerbread people. <laughs> they need a house. I was gonna say they need a house too. Okay. Okay, I like it. I like it. I'm not sure if this looks like a log pile or if Ollie went better hurry outside. <laughs> Okay, but like, can we talk about the Tootsie Roll factory? Okay. Like, can you, you imagine? You talk about that. I'm going to do the little front here. I just, I looked at the end and it's like, you know? And so they probably had this huge machine that like, per, like squirts it out. Guys, welcome to my life. Like, pretty much every day of our lives, something Mary goes, can we think about the Tinfoil. gumball drop factory? Like, imagine <laughs> it. <laughs> or like the place that makes these little flowers like just thousands of these little flowers like going down a I just think that sort of thing is interesting because you know we're like oh yeah a green Tootsie Roll arrives on my doorstep uh, from you know I ordered it from wherever this or that and then it's like but actually how did the green Tootsie Rolls actually get here but actually what color should the doorknob be Okay, what, what color should the door not be? I'm going to wait for the first um, person. Yes, Elizabeth, yes. How it's made, love, love, love. Great show. We have, the color options are blue, orange, pink, yellow, green. Ooh, that smell. Ew. Okay, it looks like somebody said green. All right, we're doing a green doorknob. Wait, we need to turn oh. this so they can see. All right. This is not oh, looking oh, great. Oh, come Emmanuel. Okay, okay. Nice, um, nice, 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 nice. Now, what what should we do with the... Okay, one thing we could do is like... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, all, all this candy. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we could use these as clay. How old is this kit? I have no idea. <laughs> mm. I haven't had a gumball, I think, in years. We had gum a few years ago. And we're like in the car chewing our gum and we're like looking at each other like we're chewing on wads of spit right now. Like, yeah, if you think about gum, it's kind of a weird concept. Alex has a poodle named Prince. Here, let's give them direct TV. Sending love from Scotland, Highland. 
Croft craziness. That's so fun. So fun. We traveled to the Highlands, but just right barely into the Highlands. So we did a day trip from Edinburgh. We drove up. Was it a two and two hour, two and a half hour drive? I don't really remember. Something like that. Okay, I am using a green Tootsie Roll and I'm squishing it like, you know, clay, getting it ready to be sculpted. Sending love from the Netherlands. How did our timing work out, you guys? For like people in the Netherlands, what time is it there? Yes, where did the the green Tootsie Roll come from? These are important questions in life. Thank yes, you, thank you. Yes. Will we go back to Scotland? I don't know. Yes, we actually were. I mean, I wouldn't have been surprised if we went this year. We talked about going like two yeah, or three years yeah. ago. We would love to go, but um, that, does that look like direct TV? Oh, yes. <laughs> Peter, you're hilarious. Okay. How did you do that? Oh, this is well, literally as far as I've gotten. It's drooping over. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Oh, I need icing. That's what I need. Oh, yes. That's not going to stay. Yeah, it is. Come on. Don't be a doubter. Okay, okay. We, we've got... Oh. Rejoice. We'll say that's, that's satellite internet Rejoice. as well because the gingerbread men need to watch the fry life. Uh-oh, you're right. It's not going to stay. But even if it tips over, like, we'll still know what it is. True. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Katie. All right. What should we do with the gumballs? I need some ideas. Ah! Okay. How the, about... I kind of like the gumball for, like, the three seconds that the flavor lasts. What did you do with your gumball? I spit it out somewhere. Oh, I thought maybe you used it as part of the sculpture. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. It looks like a mushroom. Okay. Um, well, like gumballs stick to the front. Gumball flowers. Okay. Okay. I could not do that with my cats around. Oh, oh my gosh. Harry. Harry. Oh my Guys. gosh. Guys. Our cat loves Harry, butter more than it. anything. You the... opened the cabinet. Oh my goodness. How did you do that? Okay, I'm trying to make a little tree. Um. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think that actually kind of worked. Oh, I ate all the red ones. Shoot. But you can use it, like take it out of your mouth and use it. But it's not going to be red anymore. Oh, that's so cute. Honey. Oh, good. Oh, no. The direct TV fell off. Okay. Did that work? Tree. We need to do something with this circle. Um. How about these with icing? Okay. Blue. What are you guys creating? In life or right now? Mm, what are you creating in life? I just got brand new watercolors this morning. So I am creating color charts and playing around, trying it out, having so much fun. What are you creating? I'm creating. Um, Harry. Harry. Ignacio. Uh, uh, Harry is determined to get butter. He loves butter. It's his favorite thing in the whole world. Which is great when we need to give him pills because we just put it in butter. We give him like a tiny bite of butter with his pills hidden and it's down the hatch. I'm doing some like little shingles. Nice. Nice. Oh, it got kind of stumpy. Yeah. Well, Let me guess. You I don't, don't want, want to talk, talk about, about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Creating... Folded clothes. That is good. Nice. You should write the fry life on the side of the house. Ooh, good idea. Will that work? It might work best on the roof so it doesn't slide as much. So maybe on the other side of the roof. Uh, oh, Caro said, you bring me so much joy during my hardships. And I'm really thankful to hear that. I got a message from a sweet viewer last night. And 
I told her like your encouragement literally makes me want to pick up the camera tomorrow. So you guys are the reason. I mean, we love having memories and we love making, we're pretty, um, we have a lot of fun with the cinematography and stuff like that. I, I mean, I'm not sure if a vlog counts as cinematography, but like that day we filmed a day in a life of a retired service dog. We had a lot of fun with that. Um, but it does take a lot out of you, like, especially on days when you're not feeling great or mentally you're not feeling great and you don't really feel like filming. But then I read stories from you guys of the ways that, number one, we just feel so honored to be welcomed into your families, welcomed into your homes via mm -hmm. video. Oh, that is a huge honor. And then when we hear that we bring joy to your day and you guys bring joy to our day, like I just, it's really cool. So on those days when we feel kind of like mentally, emotionally exhausted, and then we hear from you guys, it just means a lot. And Debbie says Peter is doing a good job. And I agree. Thank you, Debbie. We were just talking about one of my love languages is words of affirmation. So yeah, talking about language. Rachel's not home yet, but um, she'll be sewing with us soon. Nice. Thanks for sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly. My mom loved you so much. I need to wrap presents. I think, okay, so there are a few different ways you can view wrapping presents. Tell me about your wrapping presents philosophy. So some people, okay, I'll tell you how I am and how that differs from some people. Neither are correct, neither are wrong. I thoroughly enjoy the day after Christmas going to Walmart and getting clearance wrapping paper for the next year. I love coordinating a plaid with a shiny bird wrapping paper with deer wrapping paper and like coordinating that I'm gonna have a few different patterns. This is about ready to be sculpted. What are we sculpting? I don't know. Okay. Um, other people, that's like not their thing and they don't even care about what the wrapping paper looks like. And so they use like um, homemade wrapping paper, like brown paper and they draw on it or something like that. Other people use gift bags and all of that. So also I saw an idea, if you don't wanna buy a new wrapping paper, use fabric and wrap it in fabric. And so there's a lot of different ways to look at it, but I realized that the older I get, I take so much joy in choosing the wrapping paper and then wrapping the gifts. And I just love it. Oh. Our stores don't have sales like that in Hawaii. That's crazy, Lissa. Hmm. I had never even thought of that. All right. What should I use this for? What's um. on the back? We have nothing on the back. All right, let's give a little preview of where we're at in life. This looks like the gingerbread house from 2020. Yes. <laughs> well, it is. I, I like my shingles. That's that's nice. Yes, that is nice, babe. They're actually solar panels. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and okay. Then I, I think the winner is your little Tootsie Roll tree. That's good. What about this? Okay. I like your Tootsie Roll man, too. Tootsie Roll man. You should have him, like, hanging from the roof. Like, okay. he, he was putting up Christmas lights. And it's 2020, so he fell off. <laughs> no, he's hanging. He needs somebody to help him. And it's 2020, so nobody's there to help him. <laughs> I think, like, it is kind of funny to joke about, but then also, like... You know how I mentally don't ever want to be like hostile against CF because yes. there's nothing you can do about it. It's kind of how I feel about 2020. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's funny to joke about and you see the funny memes and stuff, but then in reality, like let's not have a hostile mindset, but like just try to make the most of what, what we are this year. Mm. What is Peter going to smoke for uh smoke out on the smoker for Christmas? What is Peter going to smoke for Christmas? Um, I am doing, well, we have in the fridge right now, we have a turkey breast and I'm trying something new. I'm going to do them at the same time because I like to, I like to make 
or like if I'm smoking something, I might as well smoke two things because I'm using the pellets anyways. Yep. So I'm going to do a turkey breast and I'm going to do beef cheeks, which I didn't even know this was a thing, but apparently they're basically small little briskets. Like, and it takes less time than smoking a brisket. So is it cheaper we'll than brisket? Well, well, it's by the time you trim it, everything, I think it's probably maybe even a little more expensive than brisket, but I think it's comparable and you don't have to buy a whole brisket. Yeah. Like for us, it's just the two of us and to buy a whole brisket is a lot of meat and we already have brisket meat in the freezer. Yeah. So what do you put on your brisket before smoking it? And is that going to differ between that and the cheeks? I think I'll do the same thing. I like to use holy cow seasoning from Meat Church Barbecue. Holy cow! Holy cow. Hey, Harry. Bud. Hey, butter. Butter boy. Butter boy. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, is this person going to be helping that person? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, did you guys <laughs> see this person? Look at this. Our matching plaid ah! shirts. It was not intended, but I'm not mad about it. I think it's funny though, because we did get dressed at the same time, but we didn't, we both didn't realize that we were matching. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to do sculpey, which is like clay that you can sculpt and then bake and then it's hard. And this feels a lot like sculpey. Okay. I'm going to try to put, there's like crumbles from the gumball bag or yeah, the gumball bag. I'm going to see if it'll like go on the fry left. Oh yeah. Look, it's like sprinkles. Okay, look, he's like stretching to help this guy. Oh, nice. Uh-oh, gumball down. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, let's show it before it falls. Okay. So you've got, this guy was putting up Christmas lights. And it went a little awry. And then that guy. Is like hanging down. To the rescue. So that'll okay. go there. We've got three, oh, gu three gumballs left. Okay. So let's do them as the back window. Okay. Oh, 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 watch your shirt. Oh, my. Oh, I'm going to go wash my hands. Actually, I'll probably just take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I, <laughs> I was not paying attention, but my hand kind of went through it. Oh, I don't know if they're going to stay. Okay. Okay, look at it really quick before it falls. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us for this creativity adventure. They're falling, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Send me a personal message on Instagram of whatever you created, and two of you will win a watercolor palette of paints. And as always. As always. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks, guys. Good night. Merry Christmas. Thanks for spending it with us. And to all, a good night.